It is time for your main event of the evening, tag team action featuring four of the best in the world as the pro wrestling NOAA duo of Naomichi Marafuji and Kenta to meet the ROH world champion, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, and the former champion, Samoa Joe. We almost had the code of honor follow at the beginning of the match. All four men shaking hands with the notable exception of Samoa Joe not wanting to shake the hand of one Kenta. Kenta started off as the protege of Kenta Kobashi, who of course had those story matches against Samoa Joe in late 2005 in New York and Philadelphia. Right now it's Brian Danielson with Marafuji. Holding onto the wrist lock is Danielson. Marafuji back to his feet, brings Danielson down. And this quickness shown by Marafuji taking the world champ off his feet, controlling the arm. Of course, these two men did battle over the world title at Final Battle 2005. It was Brian Danielson pinning Marafuji to retain the title. An exchange of quick near falls, which came down to leverage on Danielson's part. Right now, son off the ropes. Shoulder tackler pulls over Marafuji. Step over by Danielson. Leapfrog from Marafuji. Leapfrog once again. And a side headlock takeover by the champ. Right to a head scissors, and both men back up. You mentioned Danielson gaining the pinfall on Marafuji, just one in a long list of challengers that have fallen at the feet of Brian Danielson in his sixth month now as the world champ here in ROH. You talk about the best in the world. Brian Danielson truly is the very best in the business right now. And he has taken on all comers as ROH world champion, truly a fighting champion. Testing his skill against two of the best to come out of Japan. And back at their feet, Marafuji controlling the arm of Danielson rolls through. Nice bridge. And a drop kick from the champ connects right on the chin. But quickly, Marafuji able to get back to his feet and into the corner. Fans here very appreciative of the abilities of all four of these men. Of course, Kenta made his way to ROH at final battle, defeating Low Key in the main event. Really making his mark on Ring of Honor in a very, very big way. Makes the tag, and Samoa Joe, look at him on the outside. He is itching to get in there.
one tells Brian Danielson how to wrestle or when to make the tag. Danielson knows it's not a popularity contest. Collar and elbow tie up with Kenta. Into the hammerlock goes the champion. Brings him down to the canvas. Still holding the arm in hammerlock position. Or wrenching back on the other arm. So Danielson pulling back on the arm there, using his knee to control the other arm as well. Tremendous move by Danielson right there. secret, Kenta wants Samoa Joe in the ring. As soon as he saw the opportunity connecting with that boot, and this time he makes the tap. This crowd is primed to see a battle between these two world-class athletes. Samoa Joe with the flurry of knee strikes. Trying to keep hold of the head of Kenta, he backs Joe into his corner. Samoa Joe with a series of absolutely brutal kicks to the chest of Penta and then connecting squarely with the back of the head. European uppercut rocks Kenta. Knee lift by Joe. One face lock again with Kenta one more time. Drives him into his corner and a tag to Marafuji. Joe still in the corner. Marafuji kicking away at the thighs of Samoa Joe. Double team maneuver here. Joe sent to the corner. Running boot from Kenta. Caught into an ST, Joe. One of the very best tag teams worldwide, Kenta and Marafuji, trying to use some double team strategy, but thwarted by the ROH duo. And now it's trademark Samoa Joe as he drives the knee down across the chest. And Dragon tagged back in. Danielson slowly waking his way over to Marafuji, tying up the legs. He'll be looking for the surfboard here. Depending on his mood. Going back on the arms. First the right and now the left. Rocking backward. Make sure that he had the leg tied up properly. Now Fuji trying to fight his way out of it. Danielson having some trouble. And it's Ted just drives the knees into the canvas. All of the weight of Brian Danielson on the backs of the back of both knees, driving them to the canvas, and now just putting the boots to Marafuji. Pulls him into the corner on Samoa Joe. Danielson with a head of steam. Dropping all of his weight across the knee of Marafuji while Joe held the foot in place on the bottom rope. And another tag to Samoa Joe. Taking away the leg himself. A bit of sign language in the direction of Kenta. Flurry. <laughs> what a flurry from Samoa Joe right there. As he sends Marafuji off and connects with the knee. Two, 
turnover by Joe Marafucci, able to kick out at two. Joe drags him back to the corner. Another tag to the ROH world champ. Joe sets him in the corner. Danielson drives the boot to the midsection. Chop to the chest by Danielson. European uppercut rocks him. Marafuji though staying on his feet. Danielson backs him to the ropes one more time. Drives the point of the boot to the chest. Just kicks him through the ropes all the way to the floor. Danielson trying to take the attention of the official as Samoa Joe out on the floor with Marafuji. Right into the steal. Sinclair tied up on the other side of the ring. Didn't see it. Here you see the members of the Japanese press here in attendance getting shots of Marafuji on the floor. Joe pitches him back in the ring and a cover by the champ. Fuji able to kick out. Anderson with a hold of the head as Marafuji backs him into the corner. Sinclair trying to get a clean break. Not gonna happen. Chop from Marafuji. And another. Make it three. Marafuji going to work and Danielson going right to the eyes. Drives into the corner and tags in Samoa Joe. A double teamwork here from Joe and Danielson. Marafuji sent off. It's met with a kick from both of his opponents. And to end to break it up, just smacks Joe upside the head. See a look of disgust on the face of Joe. Staring down Kenta in the corner. Controls the arm and tags in Brian Danielson one more time. Holding him in place as Danielson drives a boot to the top of the head. And a second. Single leg by Danielson trying to turn him over here. Marafuji very close to the ropes. Danielson though pulls him back to the center of the ring. Single leg Boston Crab, and look how deep he sits down in this hole. Tremendous pressure on both the knee and the back. Marafuji trying to force his way up, but Danielson sitting down. Really wrenching back on that half crab. But look at the strength of Marafuji doing a push up with all the weight of Brian Danielson on his back, and he's able to make it to the ropes. Danielson releases the hold. Just standing on the throat now. Laying down the law for the senior official here in the ring of law. Danielson obviously using every bit of the rule book to his advantage, including the entire five count. And pulls him to the center of the ring, maybe looking to actually cinch in the surfboard here. They have softened him up enough to apply it now. Pulling back. Doesn't have the legs extended, but instead just sets him up for Joe to drive the boot to the chest. And Kenta can do nothing but look on on the outside. Danielson and Samoa Joe have the match in hand. Lateral press. Marafuji able to kick out. Danielson fighting to keep his shoulders down on the canvas. Marafuji with a bridge. Again, another near fall from Danielson. Ryan Danielson is a few days shy of being ROH world champion for 200 days. And you can argue that he is becoming the greatest champion ever. Even better than Samoa Joe. Look at the list of classics he's had. Opponents like Austin Aries, Steve Carino, Chris Sabin, Christopher Daniels. Rocky Romero and Roderick Strong. You better believe Strong is coming back after the title. Even Lance Storm is considering coming out of retirement to challenge Danielson for the belt. Danielson trying to shake off that kick from Kenta. Had enough of standing on the outside. Drop toe hold by Marafuji. Off the ropes he goes. Drop kick to the face. And he finally makes the tag to Kenta. Got a fresh Kenta in the ring right now. Looking to unleash some punishment. Big boot to forearm. Knock Samoa Joe to the floor. And Kenta wants to get his hands on Samoa Joe. Right in 
into the steel barricade. Well, you got to give Kent all the credit in the world. He's the smallest man in this matchup, and he is not intimidated in the least by Samoa Joe. Sinclair trying to keep Samoa Joe back as he is not the legal man as Kenta kicks away at the chest of the champion. Once again, knocking Danielson to the canvas. Cover here by Kenta. Kenta, the GHC Junior Champion, blew everyone away by pinning low key in his ROH debut at Final Battle 2005, a match I consider a match of the year candidate. Two count on Danielson. It's the figure four head scissors now, right in the center of the ring. Samoa Joe makes his presence felt. Series of boots to the back and Kenta forces the break, but Kenta pops right back up and gets in the face of Samoa Joe. These two want at each other. Yamara Fuji on the outside. Choking away at Danielson over the bottom rope. Finally, Sinclair sees it. Forces the break. Well, I got the time, Lenny Leonard. It's time to pay the bills. ROHWrestling.com, 215-781-2500. All your wrestling merchandise needs. Check out the latest DVDs and merchandise. Forget paying the bills. There's a slingshot elbow right across the chest of Brian Danielson. Oh, and he just kicks it the face. What an insult. He's going for the cover, but Kenta needs to get out of the ring. Marafuji upset and might want to blame his partner for distracting the referee. ROHwrestling.com, merchandise from TNA, WWE, Shimmer, FIP, OVW, and more. Authentic t-shirts and figures, plus the best shoot interviews anywhere with the straight shooting series. Make sure to check every week for big sales at ROHwrestling.com. Provided by Marafuji, has the leg great mind as well. Danielson in a bad way right here. Snap mares him over. Breaking the eyes with the boots. And again, just stomping away at the face of Brian Danielson. And they're using the same kind of tactics that Danielson has been putting to use during this match. A quick tag to Kenta. There you see the traits that make these guys pound for pound the greatest tag team in the sport today. Firing away in the corner with a series of kicks to the world champ. Kenta uh, measures him for the thrust right to the throat. <laughs> Snap Mare out of the corner. Drops down with the fist. Only gets two. Another tag to Marafuji. Turns Danielson over. Locks in the camel clutch. A lot of pressure put on the back as well as the neck of Brian Danielson. And Jimmy Bauer entering the booth. I don't want to take away from the match. Well, Joe's coming in. And real quick, we have a huge announcement. Oh, what a kick from Kenta. Is that wrestlers from Dragon Gate, six, six athletes, will be coming to Ring of Honor for the next three shows. Unbelievable. That should be action packed. The best of Dragon Gate coming to ROH. Really getting the international flavor from Japan. Stars from Noah, stars from Dragon Gate. All the very best right here in Ring of Honor. As Danielson trying to make the tag, Samoa Joe has his arm outstretched. But meanwhile, it's Marafuji stretching out the arms of Brian Danielson. Pulling back on the arms again. Danielson trying to turn it around here. Fuji though struggling, able to pull him back around. We want to talk about a guy who made a great debut at Final Battle, Marafuji. He could very easily be the ROH World Champion right now as he makes the tag to Kenta, who's driving the fist to the midsection of Brian Danielson and batters the champ to a seated position in the corner. Yeah, that final series of near falls in the Danielson Marafuji matchup at Final Battle. It could have been anyone coming out with the one, two, three. As I said, it came down to leverage. Right now it's Kenta, looking for the vertical suplex on Dragon. He gets it, lateral press, but only two. Kenta may be getting a little frustrated here. Once again, locking in the camel clutch, using the cravat at the same time, wrenching back on the neck, as well as the back of Brian Danielson. 
Twisting away on that neck, and Samoa Joe stepping through the ropes. Allows Marafuji to get some momentum. And strike! Cover! Only two Samoa Joe breaks it up. Tremendous velocity from Marafuji. You want to talk about a head of steam. Tags in and now takes over on the arm of Brian Danielson. Danielson looks the worst for wear right here. Shinonomaki in the center of the ring. Danielson needs to make the tag. The crowd urging him to make his way to the corner. Samoa Joe wants in. Screaming at Danielson to make the tag. Trying to squirm his way toward his corner. Has his arm outstretched. The Marafuji. Drop kick Samoa Joe. Goes back to work on Danielson. Very smart move on the part of Marafuji. Able to distract Joe with that drop kick. And drag Danielson back to his corner to tag in Kenta. Off the ropes he goes. Trying to lock in a sleeper. No pressure put on the neck right here. As well, trying to take away his oxygen. Danielson backs him into the corner. Todd Sinclair looking for the break. Instead, it's a right hand to the top of the head of the champ. And another boot to the midsection. Now just stepping across the throat. Crowd voicing their support for their chosen wrestlers. Kenta taking a page out of Danielson's book, using all five of that count. The champ up and over. Off the ropes he goes, ducks the kick. Discus, forearm shot right to the face, and that may have bought him enough time here. Can he make the tag? Danielson put every ounce of energy in his body into that roaring forearm strike. He collapsed after connecting with the maneuver. Needs to make the tag right here. He's got Kenta down. But he's crawling in the wrong corner, disoriented. Finally, I think now he sees Samoa Joe, and he's making his way to the corner to make the tag. Danielson back to his feet, dives, and makes the tag. Samoa Joe, the legal man, going to work on both Kenta and Marafuji. Marafuji off the ropes, belly to belly. Boot to the midsection on Kenta. Series of kicks from Joe. Now just slapping in the face, and Kenta firing back with forearms. Joe puts on the brakes. Forearm shot from Joe. Kenta off the ropes. Inverted atomic drop. Joe hits the ropes, big boot. And a senton. Covered by Joe. But Kenta kicks out. What a flurry from Samoa Joe, can't put him away. The Samoa Joe supporters getting behind him as he chops away at the chest of Kenta in the corner. Irish whip across the ring, moves out of the way. Joe collides with the turnbuckle and Kenta with the kick to the back. Belly to back, suplex on the big man. What a tremendous show of strength from Kenta. And he makes the tag of Marafuji. Marafuji now with Samoa Joe. Into the buckle he goes, comes charging and connects. Off the ropes. But Joe holding his ground. And again. With the look of disgust on the face of Samoa Joe. One more time off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Connects with the boot. Joe goes down on the cover. Pulls that shoulder up off the canvas. Marafuji trying to pick him up for a slam. Too much weight. Can't get him up. Clubbing forearm from Joe to the back. Up and over goes Marafuji. Boot to the midsection. Going to try and suplex him instead. And again, Joe puts on the brakes. Trying to battle the size right here. Going for the belly to back, Joe not budging. You gotta give Marafuji all the credit in the world. He's gonna keep trying until he gets the big man off his feet. Drop kick to the back of Samoa Joe. Power slam! Marafuji kicks out. 
Joe trying to lock in the cross arm breaker. He needs to get that other leg extended over the chest. Kenta in to break it up. And it comes Danielson to neutralize Kenta. Both four men. sends him to the floor. All four men in the ring momentarily. Joe with Marafuji. Powerball! Turns him over into the STF. And look at Danielson keeping Kenta at bay. Kenta cannot get in the ring to break this up. Marafuji is going to have to find a way to get out of the hold on his own. Mojo changes it up. Submission predicament. Will he give it up right here? Sinclair in perfect position. And Kenta can do nothing but watch as finally Marafuji gets his foot on the ropes. Referee trying to restore order as he gets Danielson back out to the apron as he tags back in legally. All the way up top goes Dragon. Joe holding Marafuji in place for Danielson up top. Diving headbutt connects. Only able to get two. Bull Nelson looking for the Dragon suplex. Marafuji blocks, rolls him up. Swings the clothesline, goes underneath. Sunset flip. Leverage going back and forth, just like in their title matchup in Final Battle. Oh, that's how he pinned him in Final Battle, but only two this time. Blocks a super kick. German suplex with a bridge. Oh, so close. Trying to lock in cow mutilation here, no. He's got the chicken wing, the cross face chicken wing. He's got it locked in right in the center of the ring. This could be it right here. Will Marafuji tap? Trying to, oh, foot on the bottom rope to force a break. Men back to their feet. Danielson just slapping him in the face. That isn't a pole strike, that's just a slap. Trying to send a message. Comes running into the boot. Known to put to use the slice bread number two. Danielson blocks. Kenta breaks it up, but Samoa Joe pitches him to the outside. Danielson had the cattle mutilation locked in. Samoa Joe trying to keep his eye on Kenta as Danielson looking to finish off Marafuji. Lands on his feet on the German suplex attempt, super kick. Looking for slice bread again. This time he gets it. Samoa Joe dives in to break it up. Kenta in the ring as well. Pitches Joe to the floor. Marafuji to his feet has the champ. Head to the buckle. Kenta on the outside looking for Joe. Marafuji's got it wrapped up in the trio. Oh. Joe and Kenta on the outside. Kenta hits the steal. Danielson hung up in the trio. Oh. Marafuji on the other side of the ring. From corner to corner connects with the drop kick. Places Danielson on the turnbuckles. Danielson is limp. He's going for slice bread from the top. Danielson though fighting him off. Looking for the belly to back superplex. That's it, he's gonna go for the cover here. He's so worked out, he can't follow up with the cover. Sinclair administers the double count. Joe and Kenta finally making their way up to their respective corners as well. Whichever man can make the tag first is gonna have an advantage, and Marafuji is a lot closer to his corner than Danielson is. Both men falling toward their partners. Danielson, though, moving a little bit more quickly, Makes the tag, but so does Marafuji. Big boot from Kenta. Ducks the clothesline. Running kick to the face. Kenta with Joe now needs to stay on the man. 
Gonna pick him right back up. Combination of kicks to the body. Out to the apron, springboard drop kick. Cover. Joe able to kick out at two. Picks him back up. Drives him to the corner with another series of kicks. Joe with a reversal. Kenta hits the buckles. Catches Joe coming in with a boot. Up to the second rope he goes. Looking for the tornado. Instead drops him throw first over the top. Kenta quickly to the top. Larry it off the top. Cover by Kenta. And again, Joe able to kick out at two. The momentum on the side of Kenta and Marafuji as he looks to follow up on Samoa Joe. Looking for the German suplex, but Joe holding his ground. Elbows to the side of the head, sends it off. Boot to the midsection from Kenta. Looking to get Joe up now. Too much weight, Joe blocking. And drops Kenta just first to the canvas. Joe with a handful of hair shoves him to the corner. Sets him up top. Heading up for the muscle buster. Can he hit it? He's got him. Super kick from Marafuji breaks it up. He's got Smoa Joe stunned, but he's still on his feet. Brian Danielson still just barely hanging on in the corner as Kenta goes to work on Samoa Joe. A flurry of kicks and open hand strikes from Kenta. Max Joe into the corner, but he's dishing it right back out. Open hand strikes to the face of Kenta. Connects with the kick, Joe still on his feet, Lariat takes him down. Joe was able to absorb most of those blows from Kenta, he had covered up and able to connect with the Lariat. Needs to follow up here. Both men the worst for wear. Really feeling the effects of this hard fought tag team battle here between four of the best in the world. Danielson and Marafuji on the outside, begging to make the tag. Joe crawling towards the corner, and he's gonna tag in the ROA 12 champ. Big forearm knocks Marafuji to the floor. Kenta unable to make the tag. That could be the break that Joe and Danielson need here. Hard kicks to the chest by the champ. Just kicking Kenta down to the canvas, hauling Samoa Joe back inside the ring. Joe works for the fans in the front row. I fetch chop from the champ, and Joe with one of his own. Just taking turns, chopping away at the chest of Kenta. Danielson calling for Joe to come over, but Joe just walked away. Danielson, though, fires him to the corner. Charges it on Kenta with the running forearm. Nowhere for Kenta to go. He is the rubber legs hanging over the corner. Danielson now pulls him to the center of the ring. Full Nelson, dragon suplex with the bridge. Only two. Turns it around, looking for cattle mutilation. Looking to bridge forward, can he do it? Cinches it in. Cattle mutilation. Will Kenta give it up right here? Sinclair checking out his condition. Danielson turns it around, rolls the shoulders to the canvas. Only two. Kenta able to slip out just in the nick of time, and once again he goes right back to the crossface chicken wing. Kenta trying to work his way back to his feet, he does. Trying to turn it around, breaks free. Strikes now, goes for that back fist. Regal Plex. Marafuji breaks the bridge. Samoa Joe and Marafuji now. Marafuji pitched to the floor. Joe soars to the floor and takes him out. Kenta down on the canvas, and Danielson climbing up in the corner. Danielson took that split second to draw with the fans in the front row, and Kenta sprang to his feet and quickly able to hit the top rope Falcon Arrow, but unable to put the champ away. Looking to finish him off. Looking for the go to sleep. He's got him up on the shoulders. Crucifix. Only two. Driving the elbows to the side of the jaw. Rolls him over one more time. Kenta, he's got him up. Go 
the sleeve cover! And that's three, Kenta! 